Hey guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malinki. Today we will talk about acrosome reaction. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment and share my video. So there are main two steps of acrosome reaction in C. archin. First is fusion of the acrosomal vesicle with the sperm cell membrane. And then the extension of the acrosomal process. So we will talk about them one by one. First, fusion of the acrosomal vesicle with the sperm cell membrane. The acrosome reaction in C. archin is initiated by contact of the sperm with a specific sugar in the egg jelly. Sugars bind to specific receptors located on the sperm cell membrane directly above the acrosomal vesicle. These receptors activate three sperm membrane proteins. A calcium transport channel that allows calcium to enter the sperm head. A sodium hydrogen exchanger that pumps sodium ions out. And a phospholipase enzyme that makes a second messenger inositol triphosphate or IP3. IP3 releases calcium from inside the sperm. The elevated calcium level in the cytoplasm triggers the fusion of the acrosomal membrane with the adjacent sperm cell membrane. You can see it here. This is the sperm cell membrane. This is the nucleus. This is the acrosomal membrane. So we can see here the fusion between acrosomal membrane and the sperm cell membrane. Acrosome releases enzymes to lyse the egg surface. So after the fusion between acrosomal membrane and sperm membrane, uh, these acrosome releases some enzymes. Next is extension of the acrosomal process. Globular actin molecules polymerize into actin filament. And this event extends the acrosomal process outward. It ultimately helps to fertilize the egg plasma membrane. So this is all about today's lecture. I hope you liked the lecture. Thank you for watching my video.